What's up guys? Today we're going to do a classic risotto. I'm going to show you a couple tips. It's going to be phenomenal. So the first thing I'm going to do, get the pan hot. Start getting this going over here. Take a little bit of this extra virgin olive oil. Classic staple of any kitchen. And just get it going in the pan. I'm also going to put a little butter in there. I only use this Kerrygold grass fed butter. It's phenomenal. Now that we got this going, time to add some shallots in there. I mean, ideally speaking, you can use onions, you can use shallots, but I like using shallots because, let's be real, everyone you know cooks stuff with onions. How many people you know cook with shallots? It's a different flavor, it's good, it has a little more of that gourmet twist. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in there. I'm just trying to get them translucent, I don't wanna burn them. I just wanna get them going with it, you know? they're getting cooked through. It's looking good, getting a little translucent there. I'm gonna throw my rice in. So I'm gonna take some of this rice. You really wanna use that Italian, the short grain rice. It's gonna cook a lot better, get a lot more risotto -y. I'm gonna dump it in. This is uh, about a cup and a half. Just working around a little bit. You wanna cook it until it starts popping, but you really gotta make sure that you coat all the rice white wine because the white wine is going to take a lot of that edge off and ideally you're going for like a cup and a half but you know come on man I don't use I don't measure it out come on what is this what do you think this is so I pour it in there there we go start stizzling already a little quality control one up I mean come on it's Tuesday night getting out of the oil It's really important to make sure all that alcohol burns off when you come in. Otherwise, you're gonna taste it throughout the whole dish, and it's gonna it's gonna be terrible. So once we got this going, you can see all the alcohol has been cooked off. Smell the wine, but you're not gonna taste it. I'm gonna start ladling in my hot chicken stock from over here. So I'm gonna go one ladle at a time, and I'm just gonna keep mixing it until it gets fully absorbed. And this is what's going to make it creamy. We got this looking really good right now. As you can see, nice and creamy. You got to keep it a little al dente is what I like to do. So you don't want it to be too mushy. You got to have a little bit of a bite to it. That's really important. So now that I got it like this, I'm just going to keep moving it so it doesn't stick to the pan. And you know it's done when you can move it like that and it slowly starts to move back. That's how you know it's looking good and creamy. This little bit. Yeah, see that's the perfect texture. So now that I got it good like that, I'm gonna add a little bit more of this organic Kerrygold butter. All grass fed butter, come on now. Mix that in. Just to give it a little bit more creaminess, a little bit more richness. Always gotta follow up with the Parmesan. Like I personally have never tasted food that I felt like had too much Parmesan in it. So I put Parmesan in everything. I put a ton of Parmesan in everything. And again, this is gonna make it Get, add a little salt, but it's also just going to help with that creaminess, that good texture, that mouthfeel that everyone talks about. Let's get you there, baby. Oh, that's looking good. I'm also going to do a little bit of kosher salt, just because I'm a big salt guy, I love it. So then you gently mix this in because you want the cheese to melt inwards instead of getting stuck on your spoon. That's a big trick there kind of fold it in like the same way you fold ice cream or you fold dough because you want like I said that to melt on the inside all right look at that it's looking so good wow pretty impressed with myself guys it's looking pretty
pretty sweet. All right, so now we always gotta try it. Oh yeah. Wow, it's fucking phenomenal. Jesus. All right, let's play this. We got the texture down. Flavor's phenomenal. We're gonna go ahead and plate this. And me personally, you guys know I'm not great at plating, but I'm trying to step my game up. Come on, we're all learning together. We're all trying something new. So first, first thing to have a good plate, you gotta have a dish that looks good. And that looks pretty cool. So get this going here. there. 